Welcome students in my new tutorial based upon Adobe Photoshop 2019. Although Photoshop is nearly same, if I am saying 2019 means if you are using some advanced version, then also you will see interface is nearly same or if you are using old version then also it's not that great difference because I am teaching you the basic things and there the tools which I will be using, it's they will be nearly same, okay. So first of all, I will be opening one image on which today I will be working. So directly, I uh, will be opening one flower here, this one. And don't worry, I will be providing you the link at the bottom of my tutorial. You can click there and download this image. So directly, I will be dragging it like this and where you can see on the taskbar, where my Adobe Photoshop icon is here, you can just place it and then don't press the left mouse button and then leave it here somewhere and as a result this image is been loaded in my photoshop and firstly you know very well i have to unlock this so i'll double click this it is unlocked so last time i just taught you about lasso tool and polygon lasso tool so this time we are using magnetic lasso tool uh, this is one of the best tool if the image is clear means uh, you can easily make the difference between the two colors this this tool works in wonders so how i'll select firstly uh, suppose i want to select this whole flower so it's very simple uh, firstly i'll zoom it suppose from here i want to start see where the point is from where this point is and if this icon is not coming you can always press the caps lock key you could see like this and now you have to just click it and automatically it will start putting the dots that means the selections although manually also you can make the selections and then you can start selecting like this say it's selecting itself and if anything is selected in a wrong way you always you can press the backspace key manually you can press and then again start see and then you can select very fastly you can select see here it is selected in a wrong way so see suppose here uh, the it is not able to make the color clarity so what i should do i can press alt key which key alt 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 key and then if i click it converts into polygon lasso tool manually then i can click and then if i'll unpress the alt key again it will convert into magnetic lasso tool so wherever the problem is only there i can press alt key just to select manually see i am just moving my cursor and it's making the dot selection dot itself if there is great difference between the colors like here red and green see it's easily selecting the edges only somewhere you have to manually click and always you can use the space bar key Here manually I have to do some clicking myself and then it will capture the endpoint itself. So selection is been done. So once the selection is been done, as always I have told you that you can use the masking tool from here and it will show you like red color and whichever part is not in the red color, wait I'll just click it. If I double click it, this quick mask option comes in front of you. So here uh, the color has been selected uh, red. I just select somewhere like green so or some blue. So it becomes easier for me to select the outline. Suppose if I click on OK. Now I will do the masking. You see the blue color. Now it's the blue color is telling which part I have selected. Now suppose this part also I want to select. Okay. So what I should do. I can use two tools here one is brush tool if i'll select brush like this you you see it's selecting and if i'll show you the selection is being decreased so i'll undo and then undo control z you know very well then this part also i want to select this part okay, i'll show you once again i'll un again i'll click on edit mask tool okay so this part i want to select what i should do 
masking again i'll click on masking and then one i told you the brush tool second is eraser tool if you select eraser tool and manually you will select just say now to decrease the size of this there are two brackets along with the enter key there are two brackets angle brackets so you just select it to decrease the size of the tool and manually you can select like this like this also you can do and if i'll show you now see selection is been done i hope this tool is clear to you if you are not clear just rewind my video and again see to it and this can be done to see the tuning i hope everything the selection is been done again if i can watch it yes it's been done and then i can easily copy this selected to another layer or in this layer also if i want i can make a copy i can just press control c and control v by simply doing this you can see on the top my new layer this is the new layer in the new layer uh, you could see the flower which i have selected it's been pasted now i can easily copy this flower to some other image so how i should do it firstly i'll try to open some other image i'll select some other image some nice background i want to select suppose this uh, image i want to select again i'll give the link you can download this image in your computer and then you can do the same experiment so i'll just i'll drag this image and i'll drag on the top here and leave it here so it's like this i'll just double click it just to open the lock and after this i want to put the flower there somewhere like uh, in a zoomed way i have captured the scene just to make that kind of uh, feel so i'll just click it here and uh, see two ways are there either i can just select it now this layer i already has been done it's been cut and pasted so what i could do i can just control i can press the control key here in this layer one and then select the selection is been made again okay then control c again and then going here and then control v you see this flower is been pasted and then i can move it somewhere like this i can move it and then control t or either i can select uh, i can click on edit transform and uh, it's uh, we can click on shift control t or control t it will work or scale like this i can put my flowers according to the need suppose here i am putting my flowers suppose the shoot was done in a zoomed way okay and then if i want to make the duplicate of this so i can always make a duplicate right click duplicate layer and then because there are two duplicates now you can place the second one here and then you have the option to even give the variation of colors or although what one more uh, shortcut i'll tell you you can press alt key alt a l t and then select the image and then drag it like this this is a shortcut to make a copy and as many you can make and right click on that so that you can know which layer you are working so like this and in this way you are able to copy the part of image from another image i rather i should say you have cut a part and then you were able to paste that image into another image that means a nice composition you have done like this you can copy as many parts from other parts of the image and you can paste it here even i can uh, copy sun or you can make a sun but for that i have to delete a sky if i want to change the color variations you know very well you can select any layer and then control l suppose i'm using the levels and then with only one of the color if i want to use here 
red and see if any changes are there you could see i am able to change more darker yes this is okay then this layer i want to select right click layer 1 now this layer is been selected you know very well and then control level let's see we do another thing green let's see if i can do any changes yes with green also can i am able to make it to more in a pink way then this one i can always right click here when this option comes layer 1 that means it shows which layer is been selected layer 0 means the background layer so i'm working on this layer i can click this and then uh, i can always control u then i can use the hue yes this color is also okay and here let it be original one so like this i can do the changes and always you know very well control t you can make the flower bigger and smaller and if you right click on this even there is the some options are there scale rotate you can rotate skew is there if you click on skew like this you can make some changes of the flower like thinner flower okay and then wrap option is there the wrap option works you know like this this type of a frame comes and from there you have more points to work upon the image the selected part okay so these all the options are available here scale rotate perspective wrap that just now i have told flip horizontal uh, flip horizontal means like this opposite direction this is also okay so this has been done so you can do the changes in this so in this way i am closing my tutorial and today we have learned how to use magnetic lasso tool and with the help of magnetic lasso tool we are able to select any part of the image very fast only condition is that nice that is color difference should be present in a greater way if the color uh, if both the colors they have been separated by clarity high density then you are able to use this image with a uh, use this tool with the ease so okay i am closing my tutorial and if my tutorial is beneficial for you and you feel like my explanation is good then please do like share and comment and please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it earlier okay bye bye take care wait for my next tutorial